Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brick World. Today's update is one final update because we're going back to our elementary school. You can see it right now. And we're going to finish all missing parts inside of that cutted building. So we are working on the top floor here, as you can see in the dark room here. And that's one big place with a lot of parts, a lot of little lies, some little stories. And then we are going to finish it. So stay tuned. First of all, I bought some stuff, a lot of boxes and stuff like that, and also got the minifigures I wanted, and I got some other little parts. But the most important part for now are these little minifigures, a lot of uh, children, because as you might know, last time we worked at school, we worked at that computer room here, and there are no children at the moment, and now they are here, nine new minifigures, so that room is now completed with all these little minifigures. We have now 900 and 23 minifigures in the city and I really like how that room looks now with all these little minifigures. A little bit storytelling um, with all the face impressions you can see here and and yeah, on my side I really like how that little computer room is now looking here inside the building. Maybe you don't like it or you like it, please feel free to write it in the comments. So now that floor is done, I also uh, change the light here to warm, warm light last time to a more cold light here on the top and I think the room of the principal here looks much more better with that uh, light change but now let's go to the upper floor as you can see I started working by removing the upper part of the roof because we need to build the inside of that um, yeah the that floor I'm using white color I really we need to build that second wall inside and that's the very first time that the outer wall and the inner walls are really connected and that's a very important part because um because of the streets down under the building they have a lot of stress on the streets because we have these curved streets in different dimensions and the whole building is under stress because of that because the underground layer is stressed so the building itself is stressed but now with connecting these inner walls and these outer walls, it's much more stable and the building is now more in its designated uh, orientation. I also added that connector here from my uh, light system. I'm using, as always, the system from Light My Bricks. And we have these uh, wooden parts already installed and also the side is done. So everything is now ready to work inside. Let's have a look from outside and it looks quite nice because you can see now these little white walls from outside. It will be look much more better when we get all the stuff inside, all the little details. But just one moment back to that big, big gift I got from Frank. You can see that more in the last room. I started sorting some stuff. As you can see, a lot of uh, trousers here in blue or in red. A lot of very, very cool stuff from that uh, 200 pounds gift. A lot of horses, as you can see here. It's just incredible. More stuff and also the saddles here. And bicycles, a lot of bicycles in red. Minifigure stuff without an ending it's so much here all the hats and all that stuff all these yeah these helmets here all these uh stuff also uh, so much stuff and uh, the yeah the, it's such much so much stuff and i'm not finished with sorting that box with all the minifigure stuff so it's just incredible and will really, really help building up that city project I'm doing here on YouTube. And yeah, I can just say once again, thank you, Frank, for all that stuff you gave to me. But coming back, you can see the first light is installed here inside. The next minifigure is here and that's a little nod to its a very famous uh, book in Germany and also very famous um um series of films it's uh, the unendliche geschichte in german but in english it's a never ending story maybe you know it it's a film from the 80s or 90s it's a very uh, prominent story here in my youth time and it was an um, a lot of users on the german channel wanted to have a little nod to that story because there's a boy its name is i think balthasar and he is having that book with a never-ending story reading in his school and yeah that's like a little nod to that scene in the film or in the book started adding more clutter and other stuff here 
There are some little Easter eggs and it's so much stuff, but I think it's, it's just nice because you have so many details here in that, uh, yeah, floor here. Also added that minifigure from uh, Harry Potter. It's, uh, I don't know the English, but it's Nick. I think it's a, uh, I don't know. It's a uh, fast Kopfloser Nick in Germany. It's a half, uh, headless Nick or something like that in English. Um, but I thought it, it's a nice addition to add him here into that building because it's a school and Hogwarts is also a school. So I think it's quite a nice addition to have him here as a little nod to the Harry Potter franchise. You're almost done up here, just missing some parts here on the right side, adding the missing uh, wooden parts. And then we can go back and add the roof itself back. And that's the finished cluttered part here. All Everything is here. I added the last light. And everything on the right side is now also almost done. Just missing that little wooden part here, but it's coming back when we are adding the roof itself now on top again. And then we can have a big, uh, big uh, party here because the building is done. Just have to change some stuff here and add it here. And now we can just put everything back here push all the um, plates from the roof part back on. It's a little bit complicated because it's a very, very big roof part here and I have to be a little bit careful not to destroy anything when I'm pushing too hard everything back in its final location. But at the end, I did it and nothing has been destroyed and nothing has to be rebuilt. And these are the last parts of that building here. Just adding some reddish brown parts back here. And that's the last part. Pushing it in. And oh no, that's the last part. I'm sorry. That's the last part. Oh no, it's, oh my God. That's the last part. I hope so. And yeah. It's done. The building is done. And that's how it looks right now. It's done from the outside. It's also done now from the inside. A lot of parts, a lot of minifigures and just some final views from outside, inside, through the windows here. We also can see Nick here. And everything is now illuminated. Everything is done. I'm very satisfied with the outcome of that building. I hope you like it too. As always, feel free to write everything you have in your mind about that project or other stuff in the city uh, in the comments under the video. And yeah, so yeah, just some final impressions from everything inside that school building. As you know, it's a cutted building at the edge of the table, something I'm really doing uh, often in my city because it has so many opportunities to show everything. Oh, the desk is falling down to show stuff, details, storylines inside a building. And yeah, I just like how it looks with all these little classrooms. Then we have the bathroom here. We have the gym on the right side here. As you can see it here, the gym. And on the left side, we have these uh, little um, technical rooms and stuff like that. The so connection down under to that old bunker system here under the building with all these little details. And when we are going to the right side, we have, have the in-gen laboratory with the dinosaur cloning lab and stuff like that. But that's the building. I'm very satisfied. I can't say it often enough. It's a very nice building. I really like it. And yeah. Next time we are going to work somewhere else. I don't know right now where, but yeah, stay tuned for a future update.